What's up, fight fans? I'm Jay Cotto. Welcome to Jay Cotto's Fight Page. And um, this is going to be the last time that I'm going to bring this subject up. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be the last time. You know, it's going to be the racism subject. Now, I'm going to give you guys fair warning that some of you who happen to just be intertwined with this shit might get hurt. You might be subscribed to me. You know what I'm saying? Just just un unfriend yourself and do whatever you want to do. But um, this is going straight out to Reef, Watu, Dilltown, and whoever the fuck is behind them. You guys. You know, for guys like you, too, to just unfriend people, stab them in the back, make videos, and mind you, pussy, because you won't mention names, you know what I mean, and throw little hints, but here I am, saying your name, I don't, I don't, I don't do subliminals, man, I'm a man, I am a grown ass man, I had told you guys, on a personal level, and on a commercial level with these videos, not to misconstrue what I am doing, not to intertwine me with any type of racial movements, slurs, etc., etc. But you guys continue to have your little childish wars. The white supremacists against the black supremacists. Well, you guys are looking very fucking dumb. You know what I mean? You guys are looking very fucking stupid. And for you two guys to actually do what you did, like Dilltown, you 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 could have inboxed me since you respect me so much, right? You could have inboxed me. You could have handled shit like a man, but you didn't. So you went ahead. And you go and you post on my timeline on some shit that if I speak about Ward, I'm going to get this work, blah, 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 blah. Listen, I'm not worried about you at all. And in real life, definitely not worried about you at all. You know what I'm saying? What you did was childish and it was a rat bastard move. So therefore, you have no respect for me. Because a person who has respect for someone and they have something to say would actually keep it in a private conversation. So you basically did what Floyd Mayweather did to Adrian Broner and try to press it out. No doubt. So here I stand, pressing it out. So you want to press it out? Let's press it out. Who was your friend when you needed help in your relationship? Huh? You think Andre Ward? You think you could pick up a phone and talk to Andre Ward and ask Andre Ward, Hey, Andre Ward, I'm having a problem in our relationship. I'm having a problem with my relationship personally. I'm saying right who did that who gave you the advice me you still got childish ways deal town you still a boy man you feel what I'm saying and when you respect somebody you go around you go about a respectful way to try to reach out to the person but instead you want to you want to press it out you want to put it all out in the press you want to put it all out on Facebook and uh, you know and, and, and it's ridiculous what you did. So therefore, you have no respect for me. And I genuinely thought you were a friend, bro. But I see your true colors. You're not. Then, you, you know, you talk about YTBC student. Then you go and, and, and you try to persuade me not to talk to Hawker Mustang, not to talk to anybody else that's going against or using their opinions opinions on fighters your favorite fighters whether they're black or and if that's childish you're still a boy man you're still a boy Rifuatu makes a video you made a fucking video and you were you couldn't say my fucking name you talking about hashtag come back to box I was down with a movement you was never down with my movement you know how I know? 
Because you never watched any of my videos. You know how I know? Because when you opened up your fucking mouth, you came out and you said some shit that was totally giving me the evidence that you don't watch any of my fucking videos, bro. I've already congratulated Ward. And just because I go out and I still give my opinion that he lost, what the fuck difference does that make? So who's the butt hurt motherfucker now? You are. Obviously, you're the butt hurt guy. You're the guy that's fucking butt hurt because I'm speaking to Ward. Did Ward make a playlist dedicated to you when you stepped out of the LDBC? Or should I say the YTBC? Huh? Updating your followers to, and letting them know how the fuck you were? Did Andre Ward do that? Did anybody in the LDBC do that? Will they do that? I don't think so. So you were highly respected, man. And instead of unfriending me and making that stupid, dumb video that totally contradicts yourself, because regardless, people are talking shit about you, which now I see most likely you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? You're still putting down your own kind. Mm -hmm. So stop with the black supremacy and talking all fucking, you know what I'm saying? Stop it. Because you're a total contradiction now. You know what I mean? You wanted to make videos. Let's make videos, bro. I respected you, Reef. You know what I'm saying? And I hope people see what the fuck you're about. And this whole LDBC shit. It is racial. It's racist. And it's destructive. And yeah, I've already acknowledged that there are white supremacist channels on here too. I've already aired out a couple. Henceforth, getting my whole take on this whole racist thing. This is why I stood alone. And I've made hashtag come back to boxing, which is very, very, very constructive for boxing. Not destructive. Like you guys are fucking doing. All you fucking guys are, 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 are fucking complaining about skin color. Whether it's white or black fighters. They don't give a fuck about you. Andre Ward don't give a fuck about the LDBC, man. You know what I'm saying? These guys don't give a fuck about you. And for you guys to act like a bunch of fucking girls. And put shit... Like a ward in which you will never ever speak to, which in, in which you will never ever sit across any camera lens and collaborate with to put a friendship over that, like you know, to put that over a friendship. Damn. So obviously I was the real friend because I'm the one that still carried the friendship. And you know what's funny? Before I even saw that video, I even inboxed you, even put it on put it on that video as well. Happy Thanksgiving, brother. You know what I'm saying? I was humble. And I'm continuing to be humble. But you two fucking rat bastards totally stabbed me in the back. And I've already told you, I have nothing to do with that. There are guys that go against you and call you names, and you guys call them names. But the number one rule on my channel is don't bring that shit here. And the white supremacists, like you say, never did it to me. Right? Some of the people from LDBC, like yourselves, never did it to me. Right? But now you're, you're, you're doing it to me. The ones I gave personal advice to in relationships, the ones that I actually, you know what I'm saying, sat down and took comic books and actually had on my radio show. Like, come on, bro. Who's butthurt now? You guys are. To do some shit like that. And if you guys really respected me, you would have inboxed me on this. But you guys aren't men. You guys aren't fucking men. Reef, you got people calling you struggle foot and all that shit. I've never disrespected you, never unfriended you over your opinion. You know why? Because your opinion is your own opinion. You're a human being, you have a right to it. So you're the one that's butthurt because people are actually telling the truth about the Ward and Kovalev fight. A lot of people seen it as even, a lot of people saw Ward won, a lot of people saw that Kovalev won. What's the fucking big deal for you to go unfriend a brother like me? That also fucking respected your crap and, 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 and dedicated a whole playlist on his own fucking channel for you. What a rap bastard you are, bro. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You know, me and Thunderdome had a fallout. We good. 
and a lot of you guys like talking shit about him. It is what it is. That's between y'all. But I see your true colors. There's a lot of guys that has unsubscribed from me because I spoke the truth. And on the white side, that have unsubscribed to me because I, I, I have given the truth about certain white fighters, right? And they came right on back. Because they know an opinion is an opinion. And you guys are threatening me, oh, you're going to get this one. You ain't doing shit to me, man. And even in real life, y'all ain't fucking with me in hands either. So y'all need to stop this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And stop. Don't stop it with me because I don't really give a fuck about you anymore. See, because I see your true colors. I see what you about. They say something about any colored fighter, any black American fighter, right away you guys turn it racial. Look how fucking stupid you are that you're putting down your own fucking brothers and sisters. Making all these fucking videos. And yeah, I treat you on and said get them get and all that shit and patting you on the shoulder. You know why? You know why? Because you were my friend and my, and my friend was being attacked. But now since I'm on the neutral side, right? I see what this is about now. I see what this whole LDBC shit is all about. And I see what some of these white channels, these white supremacist channels are all about too. Because I've been called nigger too. It's called blocking people. And that's what you guys fail to do. So obviously you still like all this shit. You still like all this hate. You still like, you know what I'm saying, the attention that you're getting being called niggers and crackers. Hashtag come back to boxing does not consist of that. Viltan, you go and you you say that YTBC student is an asshole. I should be careful with. Who the fuck are you to tell me who I should be careful with? Who should I could who who I should conversate with? Who I should interact with? Who the fuck are you? When you can't even hold your relationship together, you can't even fucking you you can't do shit with yourself. You're a confused boy. And right now I'm changing both your pampers. I'm speaking humbly because, like I said, there are things that you said that were hurtful, but I've never checked you on it. I've minded my business. You guys just couldn't. Oh, Andre Ward. Oh, my God. You're talking so much shit about an American hero. Oh, God. So much of an American hero, and you follow America Reef, that you respect the land that you live in, right? That that, that, that you go and, 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 and you put our current... Our current going to be president you know what I'm saying our elected president you put him down you put down white people as well you know what I'm saying you even putting down your own kind so who really wins in your world grief who wins in your world what color wins in your world when you attack your own color stupid and you could go ahead and make videos and use all these big fucking words but you're a contradiction, and I've exposed you simply because you've totally exposed your fucking self. And I kept it humble with you. I kept it real with you. But now you want to include me in this race war, you and Dilltown, the bunch of race baiting motherfuckers. Well, I'm not with that. And talk all the shit you want about Hawker Mustang. He never race baited me. He never told me to never speak to any of them. Never told me who I should interact with, who I should conversate with, who I should allow on my channel. Nobody. None of them did. But you fucking guys at the LDBC do. So how fucking disgusting are you guys? How? Andre Ward don't give a fuck about anybody in the LDBC. Andre Ward don't give a fuck about you. Keep it boxing. And that's exactly what it was. Opinions. And here you go. Boxing memes were made on every boxer. And here you go. Butthurt. Because you guys are the ones that are butthurt. Dilltown went and called fucking Ward King Ward. You guys are fucking ridiculous. You're ridiculous. You guys make no fucking sense. And you guys are destructive. You're very destructive. So you guys need to take a look in the fucking mirror. Because you guys are a bunch of followers, not a bunch of leaders. You guys aren't leading shit. I've done more things for the sport. I've Boxers know about hashtag come back to boxing more than they know about your bullshit. 
Now there are some brothers still in the LDBC that I'm cool with. But think about this, man. And I've mentioned this to Dilltown. Some of the guys that you roll with fuck up that reputation by being the fucking black supremacist racist that they are. I've mentioned this to certain people in the YTBC that there are certain guys who are fucking racist as well. But if you partake in any activities of that, then you too are the blame. Not me, Jack. Not me. I have not called nobody a coon, in which I've been fucking called. I have not called anybody a nigger. I have not called anybody a cracker, a whitey, nothing. I keep it boxing. And I think you guys got a little bit of jealousy in you. I think that's what the fuck it is. Then say that. Don't be bitches. Yo, Reef, on the real, man, you were respected, dog. And you let Ward, like if he fucked you in your ass, like if he promised you a dinner date, and, and you put him over a fresh, over my opinion? Damn, brother. That education you got must have really fucked you up to a point where all you see is black. Well, wake up, motherfucker. This world consists of colors. Consists of different ethnicities, different cultures. Grow the fuck up. You guys want to talk about my movement in secret? You guys want to have round table discussions well go ahead talk about me do what you gotta do send all your lackeys this way too have them do what they have to do but no matter what you say at the end of the day i am keeping it more boxing than you fucking faggots are i can't understand why reef I can understand why people now have a fucking beef with you. It is what it is. And I was wrong for fucking backing you up on that. I can't retract on it now. So since you unfriended me like a bitch and didn't give me a phone call through Facebook, which you could have done, or inbox me, you just unfriended me and decided to make a video. Well, guess what, motherfucker? Luke Cajun is in the house. That shit didn't penetrate. So here I am letting you know, you a fucked up dude, man. Don't ever consider yourself or call yourself a friend. You know what I'm saying? Or a good acquaintance to anybody. Because you one of them unfair warning motherfuckers. And Dilltown, grow the fuck up. You, know, you feel what I'm saying? Grow the fuck up. Think before you do. Because that's what your fucking problem is. Both of you are fucking followers, man. Both of you are followers of a fucking faction that's very destructive to the sport of boxing. And what's sad here is that you guys have a vast knowledge of the sport, but you decide to use it in a destructive manner, in a destructive way. You guys, none of you guys in that faction are, are working as a cohesive unit, except for downing other people, downing your own race. Somebody don't agree with you, and they're of your color, Coon! Oh my god! Get the fuck out of here with that, man! It really doesn't matter to me. Continue making your fucking dis destructive videos. Continue spreading your destructive words. Continue being lonely with your fucking hoodie. And talking the most shit about your own race. But yet you want to stand up for it. Continue to do that, brother. Continue. Because all you are is a big contradiction. Reef and Dilltown. YTBC student made a video. And so what? I smoke cigarettes. Big fucking deal. Let me guess. Oh, that's that's the white man's fucking that's the white man's fucking poison. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Get out of here with that shit. YTBC student made a video talking about racism, and here comes and made a lot of points and he also and he also featured somebody uh, an, uh, an uploader who was speaking about the racism and how sick and tired he was of it and here comes the time oh i don't like this oh no. why Be why because it was constructive because it was going to help break the tie out this shit that's why 
You guys are losing. You guys are losing, and you're losing to honesty. You're losing to love. You're losing to unity. You guys can attack my movement. Do what the fuck you want to do. It's already there. There's nothing you can do about it. Hashtag come back to boxing is self-explanatory. Hashtag come back to boxing, you fucking pussies. That's exactly what it is. And next time you make a fucking video on me, make sure that it's a good one. You feel what I'm saying? Because you motherfuckers are really dry. You motherfuckers need some lubiderm. You guys are fucking dry. You feel what I'm saying? But I've never said anything about it. But since you want to talk shit about me, I'm going to let you have it now. I'm going to tell you exactly what I've been holding back now. You feel what I'm saying? With a little bit of animosity, but I'm going to be humble about it. Because I'm a good man, not a good boy. Like you fucks are. You guys really have nothing to say. Nothing to say. Most of you guys feed off a lot of negativity. You guys continue to down people. Because they're doing something constructive for the sport. Someone had said that blood boxing said so, and I have, and, and me and blood boxing are cool. You feel what I'm saying? Me and blood boxing are very, very cool. We've had personal conversations. You know what I mean? I like his videos. He likes my videos. It just gets to a point that someone was talking about him, and I told him to retract. And we got into a little bickering beef about it. But at the end of the day, I was right. Making us both right. So there is a certain extent of support from me for the LDBC. Because I'm not a hater. You feel what I'm saying? And those that come clean on my channel from the LBBC or from the other other if you want to call it the YTBC some white supremacist or whatever the fuck I will continue to be humble and continue to support either sides as long as they keep it boxing and keep it real with me but you guys are making videos contradicting yourselves calling people butthurt but you start unfriending people the moment they give you opinions on Andre Ward meanwhile you shit it all over America and you you want to you want to hide behind his gold medal and say, oh yeah, he's an American hero. But meanwhile, here you go. Fuck America and everybody else in it. And all this other shit. Nothing patriotic about you motherfuckers. Unless it's, it's, uh, unless it's to your convenience. Who the fuck you think you're talking to, man? I'm a grown ass man, bro. You guys are very fucking destructive, man. And I want nothing to do with y'all anymore. And Reef, you take a look in the fucking mirror. Now you take a look in the mirror and ask yourself... Damn, I just attacked somebody who had my back, who supported me all the way, and who really kept it fucking boxing. And on Facebook as well. And just because I posted a couple of memes, and I've, and I've named people wartards, and let me get that shit out the fucking way. Wartards does not mean anybody black, anybody white. A wartard is someone who over-exaggerates Andre Ward's fucking career as to he dominated from round 1 to 12. I thought you did research, homie. Obviously, you didn't do research on this one, did you? Did you? You're a stupid motherfucker for that. And you're a stupid motherfucker for this. So it is what it is, man. You judgmental bastard. And you too, Dill Town. Next time you need help in your relationship, my man, go to the library and get books on it, son. You feel me? I never steered you the wrong way, never did anything, but you like to be persuasive, you think you can sway people, whoever you swayed in the past are a bunch of fucking suckers. My name is Jay Cotto, thank you for joining my fight page, hashtag come back to boxing, God bless each and every one of y'all, regardless you're lower than worm sperm, and peace.